What up, what up, what up? This is Star with Stars Empress Wisdom. What's good, Aries gang? Hey, loves. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. This is going to be a reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. This could be involving a soulmate, a twin flame, someone from your soul tribe, family member, friend, anyone or anything involving love or in general in the next seven days for the sign of Aries. All right, so energies can be vice versa. So get in where you fit in. You will know who you are specifically in the store if you're keeping it 100. But then again, messages may or may not resonate. If they do, please do like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let your girl know. If you would like to holler at me for a personal, that information is in the description box below. And if you would like to leave a love donation, that's down there as well. All right, so and thank you so much to those that do so. Aww. Let's go ahead and get started, though, Aries. <clears throat> So I have pre-channel messages for you guys. Um, it's like someone has to hammer away at all the ice from someone's heart for there to be a divine union. All right. I was definitely getting a hammer. Um, but both the, the divine masculine and divine feminine could be closed off from each other emotionally. So some of you guys could be dealing with a divine union, a divine counterpart. This could be a marriage, um, some type of connection you have with somebody here. I feel like... Um, both of you could be closed off from each other emotionally all right so i feel like i see like somebody taking a, a like a pick to somebody's heart and hitting it and the other person doing the same thing so it's like two people chipping away the ice from each other's hearts all right so um let's see i've also got someone may have to hammer ice off of a car okay or a specific part on a car um and it will it'll help it open it or something like that um, also, I got regard. Uh, this was back to the situation as far as somebody ham uh, chipping away at someone's heart um, or chipping away ice from someone's heart. I'm getting that um, someone's heart will burst open. OK, and I feel like once that happens, there will be like a burst in someone's heart space or heart chakra. And I feel like that is going to uh, allow the union to proceed. OK. Um, also, someone could be dealing with a serial killer or a rapist for assistance in a financial hardship. All right. I feel like uh, this person could have been terrorized or could be being terrorized by, th by this person, but is counting down the days to freedom. All right. Have sympathy. OK, so some of you guys, this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody could be dealing with a, a serial killer or a serial rapist uh, and needing this person for financial assistance or uh, financial help. Um, I feel like you, you know, if this is you, I feel like somebody is going to have sympathy, you know, with, regarding your situation. Um, and if this is someone else, I feel like somebody else is, uh, is needing sympathy. Okay. So that may or may not have resonated, but let's go ahead and get an overall for Aries. Wisdom. All right. So wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. I'm definitely getting that in the next seven days. You are going to need to use uh, wisdom in order to um, manifest your dreams, in order to allow things to go through uh, smoothly for you. Um, but rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. All right. But I feel like you are needing to uh, use wisdom at this time. I just saw 333. I feel like you guys are being protected uh, by your guides, your angels. Let's see what type of energies you could be dealing with for the next seven days. I'm also getting that there could be some uh, adversaries some, uh, coming at you. Adversaries are devils. Okay, so I feel like there's some devils coming at you. All right, trying to snatch away your light. Yeah, I feel like the, they could be trying to keep you in the dark night of the soul or a dark place. All right, I feel like this could be you. 22 could be significant. All right, this could be someone's birthday or this could be um, someone could be a master builder, a teacher. All right, a master teacher, I believe. All right, I'm also getting someone who could uh, have Virgo on their chart. But I feel like somebody wants to keep this person in a dark place. I feel like someone wants, uh, this could be a Libra who has Virgo on their chart. I feel like somebody's trying to keep this person in a dark place. Someone is trying to take away this person's peace and keep them in the dark. Okay, so this could be happening to you. Let's see. All right, you could be dealing with a Libra moon. All right, this could be somebody that has Sagittarius in their chart. Um, someone who could be from New York. All right, I have uh, Taurus as well. Someone could have Indian roots, so somebody could be from uh, India. Squirrel. 
Scorpio. All right, one second. All right, so uh, some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, someone could be from Seattle, Washington. Um, Taurus Moon as well. So you could be a Taurus Moon, Cancer Rising. Someone could be from Michigan. All right, um, but I'm definitely getting that you are needing to use wisdom uh, regarding these in uh, specific energies. So I'm going to also include the Taurus Moon as well. So let's go ahead and see. Um, dealing with this individual here. All right, I feel like this could definitely, I'm mean, hell, the camera even went black when I uh, showed this one. There we go, yeah. I feel like somebody is trying to keep you in a dark place, all right, or keep you in the dark night of the soul, keep you in a cave, a caveman, all right? I feel like this is somebody who um, doesn't open their blinds a lot. This is someone who likes the dark, but I feel like someone is trying to keep this person uh, stuck. This could also be like the sunken place, all right? Some of y'all need to watch the meat y'all eating because it may not be uh it may not be chicken, it may not be beef. Okay, some of y'all could be getting, being fed uh other people's. Okay, I'm definitely in cannibalism here. All right, um, I feel like in the recent past somebody uh may have needed to reach out to you or to communicate something to you here in order for there to be a reunion. So I feel like uh, maybe you reunited with someone in the recent past or. Um, in order for you to reunite with this person, I feel like you needed to communicate. They needed to reach out to you. All right. Um, but I feel like somebody was being deceptive here. So I feel like somebody may have felt the need to reach out to you to communicate with you. They wanted to reunite with you, celebrate with you. Um, but I feel like this person was a deceiver. Somebody was deceiving you and tricking you. Yeah, this could have been somebody that had you as an option or could have been somebody that had you. Uh, they were deceiving you as far as your choices, your options, what, uh, what you needed to do moving forward. All right. Yeah. I feel like somebody was preying on you. All right. I feel like somebody was uh, like preying on you like a, um, like a I heard like a moth to a flame. Ain't that Janet Jackson? Um, it was like somebody who I'm seeing like talons. OK, like a falcon or eagle or something. Um, this could definitely be a mother. This could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is someone who is materialistic here. So I feel like this person wanted to reunite with you, but they were deceiving you and had other options or they were deceiving you and tricking you out of your options or something. Um, this person was preying on you. All right. I feel like uh, I see these black birds. I feel like some of you guys, black crows are protection for you. All right. They're your protectors. Uh, one, two, three, four. So I feel like there's four. Um, there's four energies here that are protecting you. All right. And I feel like uh, they black birds are symbolism like ravens, crows. All right. Somebody is trying to make you feel conflicted here. OK, so this could definitely be you. You got the birthday 22. OK, hopefully you're not doing this to this person. All right. Uh, this could be a, la a laborer, a serviceman. I feel like somebody. Um, oh, oh, this could be an air sign here. All right. So I feel like somebody is cold, unbalanced and unstable um, regarding a serviceman, a laborer. Um, this could be somebody is uh, feeling unstable because of work. All right. But somebody is praying uh, for somebody's work to be messed up. Yeah, but it is a good investment. So whatever you are working towards, I feel like somebody could be trying to cause you some type of turmoil. Somebody could be trying to cause you some type of issues with work, with um, your mind. All right. But I feel like um, th whatever you're working towards is a good investment here. But I feel like uh, somebody is trying to plague you with uh, depression or sadness or anxiety. All right. <clears throat> So let's see, dealing with the Libra moon. And I'm also getting watch who uh watch whose parties you be going to. All right, don't eat at everybody's table. Don't eat what everybody eat. Okay. So let's see, dealing with the Libra moon. I'm getting a Maria Maria. Hold on one second. All right, so you could uh, be married to this person, be in a commitment with this person, all right? Or you could have had some type of stable uh, connection with this person, um, but somebody could have been a liar, all right? So I feel like somebody was definitely lying here. Somebody could have been lying, being cold, calculating towards you, all right? So I feel like somebody was pretending like they wanted a relationship, a marriage, or a commitment, but they were secretly lying, all right? Yeah, and I feel like uh, that broke your heart in the recent past. You found out this person was cheating on you or they cheated on you in the past or they played you. All right. Or this could be the other way around. All right. Yeah, I feel like but you are leaving it all behind. I feel like emotionally you've let this go. You're moving forward. You ain't worried about this shit no more. Yeah, because you found new love. I felt like I feel like either if you haven't found new love yet, I feel like a, a true love soulmate could be coming in for you in the next two to eight days. 
All right. Um, but I feel like you had to walk away from this past commitment here with this Libra moon or with the Sagittarius um, to be able to manifest this beautiful love here. Yeah, because somebody was a cheater. I feel like this cheater is still around. They still looking at you. They still want you. OK, let's see. Yep, I feel like this person is going to be heartbroken because I feel like you are uh, traveling away from this person. You are moving forward. You're moving on. All right, so I feel like uh, there could be a Libra moon, a Sagittarius that's upset that you went away, that you moved. All right, but I feel like this person was uh, was cheating on you. They cheated on you. They were cheating you out of something. Um, it could have been money. All right, but I'm feeling uh, this person is also envious. I feel like this person could have put the evil eye on you or been doing uh, dark magic against you. All right, I feel like they were calling in uh, spirits or entities or something like that or calling on something. This could be uh, Kali, all right, the goddess Kali. <clears throat> but let's see. Dealing with a Sag. I'm definitely getting somebody made a deal with the devil here. All right, uh, this could be this. Uh, so it could be two people working together here. All right, um, to keep somebody stuck and trapped in the dark night of the soul or keep them trapped in a sunken place, something like that. Um, I feel like that's why some, or I feel like in the recent past, this person was juggling you, all right, or you were being juggled uh, between you and this this Libra moon. Somebody wasn't making a choice here, all right, and I feel like somebody wasn't making a choice because somebody was under voodoo, a voodoo spell, uh, since they were a child, all right, this could be a musician, but I feel like uh, someone uh, freed themselves from that and manifested a new opportunity, a new career, or this could be a new relationship. Yeah, and whatever it is, it's a good investment, all right? Let's see. All right, yeah, I feel like this person could be watching you, all right, stalking. This person may want to rush in, but I feel like they're just going to be watching you. Um, but you are going to stay guarded to this person, I feel. Yeah, because they couldn't make a decision about you. I feel like they still, even if you went back, they still can't make a decision about you, all right, regarding some type of stable commitment. So I feel like dealing with the Sag, this person, even if you allow them to return, um, I feel like they're still not going to be, a, they're still not going to be, uh, they're going to be noncommittal still, all right? So let's go ahead and see uh, the next seven days for Aries. Growth. I, de I definitely see spiritual growth here. All right. Some of you guys could be growing plants, possibly growing uh, your own weed plants or something like that. Um, but I'm definitely getting that even if you guys are online, I feel like your online presence is different. People can see that you have grown, that you have spiritual, uh, that you have grown spiritually. And I feel like people may, uh, may want to DM you, email you, text you. This could be an air sign, but you need to watch your health, play a player. Okay. So I feel like you need to watch your health. This could be somebody who, um, affects your health mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, yeah, I feel like you are, um, moving to a place of feeling whole, complete. All right. Let's see. Yep, this is part of your destiny. So I feel like it is destined for you to release this commitment or release these commitments, all right? Because they are your adversaries, okay? They were meant to teach you lessons. They were devils on your back meant to teach you to, you know, defend yourself, okay? Sort them off if you need to, okay? So I feel like um, this is a part of your destiny here, all right? Some of you guys, uh, this could have to, some of you guys are destined to have an earth sign child, all right? So I feel like some of you guys could be uh, pregnant in the next seven days here, or you could already be pregnant, and some of you guys are destined to have an earth sign child here, and therefore you will decline someone's offer, all right? Yeah, because you know that this person gives you poor health, all right? That you know this person uh, brings in some type of negative energy, bad luck, um, and regret, okay? I feel like you know that already, or this person uh, knows that about somebody that they're dealing with, all right? So that is all for now, Aries. Until next time, my loves. Later.